Is your goal to buy a business, but you are worried about the high failure rates that often haunt certain types of businesses? Are you looking for an investment with a little more certainty? Well, you're not alone. Your fears are real. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, roughly 20% of small businesses in the United States fail within the first year. The odds are even scarier with 50% failing by the fifth year. And after a decade, two-thirds of those businesses have already gone under. Those stats can be downright discouraging. In this video, we're diving into five businesses that boast an astonishingly low failure rates throughout the five-year and 10-year marks. Hi, I'm Josh Stoddard from DealFlow System and Top M&A Entrepreneurs, here educating you on your business buying journey. I bought a few businesses, sold one, shut one down, and still own a minority in the third. And I've interviewed hundreds of serial acquirers, trying to get smarter about buying businesses. For more on business buying tips and advice like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you're the first to be notified when we drop new content. Before we dive into this thing, let's clarify one thing. There's no such thing as a completely risk-free business. When it comes to the world of business buying, it comes with its fair share of challenges. There will always be a risk-return trade-off where if you see a higher SDE, seller discretionary earnings, that often comes with higher risk. That being said, here's the exciting part. Some businesses can yield high returns and weather the ups and downs of economic cycles while minimizing the risk of failure. It's crucial to emphasize that when you venture into business buying, understanding the likelihood of success is of utmost importance. As a business buyer, you'll invest a significant amount of time, energy, and capital in your acquisitions. And selecting a business with a higher chance of success can make all the difference. Warren Buffett defines this increase in your chances as margin of safety. So, without further ado, let's dive in. First up, we have laundromats. These businesses enjoy a staggering 95% success rate over a five-year period as reported by Laundry Lux. Yeah, you heard that right. This is a business model that's tantalizing close to guaranteed success. Laundromats are remarkably recession-proof regardless of economic ups and downs because people will always need to clean clothes. The best part? Laundromats can often run passively. The machines do all the heavy lifting and customers handle the rest. You'll still need to manage cleanliness, maintenance, and cash collection, but you can even outsource those tasks for more hands-on approach. Who's the top M&A entrepreneur on this? I want you to check out Peter Mayberry at Mayberry Capital on his YouTube videos. He is fantastic. If you don't mind him dropping a few F-bombs, he is a top M&A entrepreneur. How do you find laundromats and their owners? Finding a laundromat for sale Try Biz Buy Sell or run in a list on Reference USA and doing a letter campaign. Mail call, mail call. Next on our list is rental property businesses. Have you ever considered real estate investing? You're in for a treat. Real estate is a proven wealth generator. In fact, the legendary Andrew Carnegie once stated that 90% of all millionaires become so through owning real estate. It's no surprise then that real estate investing enjoys an impressive 85.3% success rate, according to Advisor Smith, a commercial insurance company who examines from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Why is real estate such a powerhouse? You can enjoy monthly cash flow. Properties tend to appreciate over time. Adding leverage through loans can supercharge your returns. Best of all, you can structure a rental property business to generate passive income. Hire a property manager or manage it yourself. Who's the top M&A entrepreneur on this? Well, I had him on my podcast last year. His name's Rod Klee. Check him out right here. How do I find these properties? This is a lot of digging. Go to Reference USA, get a list of multi-tenant properties, do a mail call, mail call, or visit on site. Number three, self-storage facilities. Are you intrigued by real estate but prefer to avoid a tenant-related hassles? Self-storage facilities might be your golden ticket. Rhino Building reports that these businesses boast an astonishing 92% success rate. Even better, you can take the passive route by running unmanned self-storage businesses 
thanks to cutting edge technology. Customers can book storage units, unlock them, and move their belongings all with their smartphones. No on-site manager required. Who's the top M&A entrepreneur on this? Nick Huber. How do I find self-storage units for sale? Go to BizBuySell or your local brokers at ibba.org or run a list on Reference USA. A fourth is the transportation business. Some call it the last mile. In our digitally connected world, transportation businesses are thriving. Whether it's long haul trucking or part-time driving for Uber or same day delivery by Amazon, this sector is brimming with opportunity. According to Advisor Smith, transportation businesses maintain an impressive 76.4 success rate. On average, this field offers solid prospects for budding business buyers. As e-commerce, the gig economy, and online platforms continue to expand, the demand for transportation services continues to rise. Who's the top M&A entrepreneur on this? Check out YouTube Route Consultant. And how do you find these transportation businesses for sale? Go to BizBuySell. Go to your local brokers through IBBA.org. There's some niche brokers called Route Brokers, Mr. Route, and Routes for Sale. Lastly, we have the dump truck business. In a nation, we generate an almost grotesque abundance of materials. From junk to debris, there's a constant need for reliable dump truck services. What makes dump truck businesses even more enticing is their versatility. Your services can be in demand by a wide variety of clients, including construction companies, landscapers, real estate flippers, and even homeowners looking to clear out clutter and debris. Who is the top M&A entrepreneurs in this niche? Check out Trucks and Hustle on YouTube. Take a look at his channel. He interviews dump truck entrepreneurs killing it. That sounds like a good idea for a podcast. Where do you find dump truck businesses for sale? Well, try Biz by Sell. You got to look under Waste Management or run a list under Reference USA and do an off market mail campaign. I will have to say, these are hot. I did not find any dump truck businesses for sale in Tucson. You may just have to buy a used truck and start one yourself. So there you have it five businesses with astonishingly high success rate. One more thing. No business runs itself. This is about looking in the mirror and knowing your limitations. Warren Buffett said, you have to be able to evaluate companies within your circle of competence. The size of the circle is not important. Knowing its boundaries, however, is vital. And I'm saying, if you're outside your circle of competence, you are going to lower the survival rate. And while success is never guaranteed, if you're buying one of these types of businesses, never, never overpay. Don't add more to the multiple just because it's a high survival rate. This is the road to bankruptcy no matter what the survival rate is. If you overpay, then someone else is going to come in and buy the assets and run it frugally. Selecting a business with higher probability of surviving over time is a wise decision. These businesses typically possess a margin of safety or a cushion when it comes to their survival rates. But if you can't find one of these types of business for sale in your area, I want you to notice what is common with these types of companies. They offer essential services. What's an essential service? An essential product or services refers to goods and offerings that are considered fundamental and necessary for the well-being, health, and daily function that people rely on for the basic needs and quality of life. So. Which of these five businesses resonate with you? Or can you identify another essential service businesses that's run by a millionaire next door that you can buy? Let us know in the comments below and stay tuned for more valuable content from our channel.